What's up, people? It's your boy, Purple Ace, coming at you with a, another season match. Uh, getting a little bit to the wire here. We got one up again. Uh, we played them early in the season. Uh, I can't remember what the score was. I think it was I think it was similar to what the score ends up being here. But um, this is, a, this is our 12th match, or our 12th match of the season. Um, and it was a pretty good game. Uh, you'll notice... Uh, just go ahead and talk about it right now. You'll notice we have a, a different controller. Um, both the pumpkins, pantless and uh, limpy, left one piece over the weekend, or I think uh, limpy might have on Monday. And uh, so you know, but luckily, you know, with with the depth we have, Varn ready to step right in. Great troller. Uh, does a little, him and pants play a little differently, but um, he does a great job here um and basically you'll see match wise strap wise nothing nothing really too complicated we're going to stay on uh crumbs for the most part uh we do a couple hard switches and uh but uh we end up picking we get a string of three kills i think in a row this was we tried to play them right before this but i, I think crumbs got glitched out and i fell through the floor like out of nowhere i just randomly fell through the floor which sometimes happens in watchtower um but uh, you'll know, you'll see both teams are just running heavy CC. It's, it's just basically what you're seeing all now on the fives. Uh, this is one of the teams we played that actually inspired us to kind of we were we knew we were gonna have to switch to it. So you'll notice we have both teams have a sorcery and a mental in the group. Uh, you know me being the focus hard target from them, I'll be CC'd a lot. Yeah, you can see right there I'm already in the ghost, but um. Pretty much what it's gonna be like the whole the whole game. It's just gonna be a lot of CCing, a lot of you know stuff like that, and, and just talking a little bit about it. The, there's two sizes, you know, there's two sides of the coin. With with the ghost and the dogging, some in some ways I do like it just for the fact that kills are happening, um, and it, it does speed PVP up a little bit. Um, I mean, not you know not these fifty to zero matches or zero to zero. But I think the problem is is the way it's happening. You don't want it to happen because of you know the lag issue of the PS3 or whatnot, and that's what's going on here. Um, hopefully, you know something's done to it. I don't know what could be done to address it because it's a PS3 only issue. It's not necessarily a, a uh, an entire you know it's a PC I know doesn't have this problem whatsoever. Um, the dogging, I'm not, I'm not necessarily against the dogging because it's more of a PI. It takes a little bit more skill, I think, because I've noticed some sorceries, some people do it better than others, just the way it goes. But uh, you know, so it, it's still, it's still a problem, but definitely not as bad. I mean, the ghost, the ghost is just terrible. There's, there's, I think there's a point in here. I think when I use my CC trinket the second time. Uh, I get ghosted coming out of it or something and it's just the lag is just incredible but um this ends up being a pretty good match I think uh which one called they do a they do a good job of holding me I mean pretty much every team we've played lately it just seems like every team I'm getting focus fired and CC all match if you've seen the other season videos but you know luckily I've got a great team around me you know gotta give shout out to Trees and Miner uh, <laughs> I know we had a little bit of a miscommunication early in the match which really doesn't happen to us that much but we did but uh, we, luckily we, we got on the same page and I think when we come back together we we notice Chrome starts kiting pretty early so as soon as we see that we feel we know that we kind of we're owning the I guess the pressure war so to say you know with both teams on the other teams DPS we kind of know we're winning the pressure situation so far but um so I gotta give shouts out to Triggs and Miner always uh big shouts out to Varn stepping up doing doing a great job he uh, he plays tremendous. I think this match. Uh, he's he's tremendous with his powers. Uh, he uh, he calls his supers or whatnot, and, and he's a very good player. Um, a lot of people don't know him. He was on his hero, I know, before, but he's a very very good player, very good controller. Um, like I said, I mean, you know, One Piece has One Piece has a lot of good controllers. Um, a lot, a lot of good players in general, a lot of good DPSs, um, and sometimes the people that don't get to DPS as much are very good DPSs. I mean, you're looking at, like, you know, Jester, I think, started DPSing a little bit again. He's very good. Uh, same goes for Sam. 
I know Varn and I, I've told Varn, you know, let's switch a little bit. I'll troll. You know, you, you pull out the mental DPS, but I think, you know, the biggest issue is it's just paranoia because the ghost, you know what I mean? He would be forced pretty much to run the ghost in DPS stance, so it's like, uh, you know, kind of kind of hindering his because we have to do it. Um, and, and that's where the big problems come in. That, that sucks. That does suck. There's no way around it. But, um, you know, so and that was good. So Varn, Varn does a great, a great job just coming in here and doing his thing. Um, and also big shouts out to Eminence. Um, he does he does a great job of, of supporting you know my burst. He his dots are incredible. Uh, he puts up high numbers and does a lot of you know I, I don't want to say I want to call it necessarily the dirty work, but uh, he'll do a lot of you know he'll he'll put a lot of the wear and tear on our focus fire target over the course of the match, especially you know him being fire and I'm more of the. I put that burst, I mean obviously I'm gadgets, I'm going to be putting a lot of burst, but uh, and we complement each other really well, I think the two of us, you'll notice uh, there's a point later on in the match where Varn, they're focus firing Varn and he gets off the target, but you'll see that we're still putting a hurting on our target, just with the two of us, just because the way it is, um, he, do, he does high numbers, high damage, high damage output, and uh, and he complements my style really well. And, and that's the good, that's the things about the One Piece tanks. They do it a lot too. I think Soul Gear, you know, Martis, now that he's tanking again, he does it really well. Um, you'll notice there's a couple times, uh, I think, looking over the course of the match, kind of now that I'm actually, this is actually the first time I've seen it since, you know, I always, I always just hop on the video and start, you know, commenting on it whenever, I, whenever I'm going to, you know, render it. So this is actually the first time I've seen it. But there's a couple times here, and I, I'm looking, and, and I said this mid match, there's a couple times here where I thought we had crumbs. And a lot of it, you know, just being CC'd. I know, I know, it's just, it's just one of those things. Whether it's, you know, maybe a ghost or, or a lasso, but you know, it's, it's just one of those things that kind of sucks, you know. But it, it was a good game. I thought you can see that it's still zero zero going already up, almost up to the seven minute mark. And then we kind of open up. I think you know we get some kills towards the end. You know, I think and and that's what we we do. We normally saw we had we saw we were kind of applying most of the pressure, uh, based on where our supers were, based on you know everything else going on. And and they do a good job of keeping me in check. I think, uh, and that that's what they try to do here. Um, and it, you know, kind of sucks. I, I wish more teams would let me loose, but. Not necessarily the way it is, but you can see crumbs drops there, and I call Greenskeeper, which uh, it looked like it was working, but then you uh, you can see Femto is already getting killed by Splash, so we switched to Femto, and uh, and we drop Femto, and then I think from there we go to Greenskeeper, yeah, because you'll notice in the background Phantom's kind of jumping around because he looks like he thinks he's gonna do the hard switch, but uh, we go to Greenskeeper. and this is kind of where we open up, and from here once this is once once you do this. If you get up on a team early, you force that team into doing kind of what you want. They're forced to maybe not go after me. They're forced to, hey, we got to pick up pressure. We got to do this or that. And uh, and so that's pretty much what happens. Is uh, I thought we were going to get crumbs again. Uh, it looked like we had them, but he, I think um, Greenskeeper jumps in at kind of the right time. So, but. Uh, it ends up, you know, that that's basically what it is. I think we open up on them, and they they're, they're forced to try something different. I think they go after Varn. After a little bit, they'll start going after Varn, um, just to try something different. And once once we have the lead, we kind of just felt comfortable from there. Um, you know, going into this match, there's a little beef. I think a little bit of trouble going on. A little bit of trash talk between Crumbs and I on the cam chat or or whatnot. But I think we kind of got it sorted out towards the end of the night. Um, I mean, I think, I think a lot of people made a bigger, I mean, maybe maybe I did too, but you know, pants and limpy leaving, that that's their choice. I mean, I didn't want to see them go. Um, limpy, I don't, I don't, I never really played with that much to begin with, but you know, so I was, it wasn't involved in that. But I have played with pantless a lot, whether it's been the season or not, and I know, you know, I, you know, afterwards I tried to get her to stay, not just for the season, because honestly, the season. I wasn't really too worried about that just because, you know, Varn, I mean, Varn's ready. I mean, Varn, Varn is as good as they get or, you know, we have, we have options there. And, and so that's never what it was about. And I think before this game, there was an issue because I think 1UP wants to, wanted to put Pantless on their roster. Uh, and initially I, I had said no, 
Um, you know, I, but then, you know, talking to my team, they're just like, no, just screw it. You know, let's avoid it. Let them do it. It's not a big deal. You know, whatever. So, you know, of course, we're just like, all right, yeah, go ahead, whatever. And then I think once we got that all sorted out towards the end of the night, um, I think I told JB in the chat, you know, go ahead and put it on. You can put it on the roster. But uh, so I think that kind of led to a little bit of, a, I guess, tension, so to speak, going into the match, which so we almost had to wait to reschedule and stuff like that. But, you know, luckily, you know, whatever, it was all set aside. You know, amazingly, nobody still, they didn't run party packs. You know, obviously we didn't, as you can tell. Um, so, and we still kept the same respect, I think, because uh, I think when I, in the first game, when I fell through the floor, uh, crumbs glitched out too or something, and just, we, you know, we just restarted. I think we were already like halfway through the match and said, screw it, let's just restart. And uh, so we went from there. But um, this ends up being a pretty good match. Uh, one Up is a very, you know, they're a very good group. I think, uh, I think we know where their weak spots are. But, uh, they, they got a very talented core. I think, you know, Crumbs and Germs, who's historical, good players to build around. Um, Phantom, Phantom, I've played with Phantom and Greenskeeper, and I think, you know, communication-wise, I think they're lacking there just because of experience, but but not people to build upon either. I mean, not, not a bad group of people. And if they picked up Pantless, that gives them a pretty good controller, you know, or lets Germs tank or whatnot, whatever they want to do. Um... So they, they got a solid group of players, so it'll be interesting to see what kind of happens with them, with the, the new additions or whatnot, and seeing how they get in sync, so I'm excited for that. Um, just talk some, we're getting down to the wire here. Season's getting ready to wrap up. Uh, I think we got one more week, and we got a big match with SOL next week. We just finished our matches for this week because uh, Replacements 2 uh, decided to not finish the season because of this issue with with the dogging and the ghosting and they didn't want to switch power. I don't blame them. I mean, I understand that. But, uh, so they decided to drop out. They were, they were supposed to be our other match this week, but, uh, so we didn't get to, we didn't get to play them this season, but we got a big match with SOL next week. From what I know, I think, uh, uh reps group two is, uh, is playing, um, or reps group one. I'm sorry. The Wolfpack is playing SOL on Thursday. So that'll be interesting to see how that turns out. I know uh, the Wolfpack hasn't switched powers. Uh, what I mean by that is Vamp hasn't gone back to mental, or uh, which or uh, they don't have none of their healers have gone sorcery. So I'm curious to see the result of that if they'll be able to handle the the CC effects from SOL. Because for what I know, Ace went mental, and they've always had Jabba who's a sorcery. Um, so I'm kind of curious to see what happens with that, but. So the season's wrapping up. I don't know what the what it is yet for the playoffs. I don't know how that's going to be done. Um, but I'm kind of – we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm excited to see all the teams there. I still think OP1, they finally have their set group. I think they're going to make a comeback on people. I mean, that group still scares the shit out of me. I don't want to – I don't want to see them early, I'll be honest with you. That group still – that group definitely frightens me a little bit. I wouldn't want to play them. Uh, just because of some of the players they have on that team. Anytime you have a, you have a trio of Jester, Sam, and Mardis, your your damage is going to be there. Your pressure will definitely be there. So I mean, and then Zach Zach's a pretty is turned into a pretty beast healer. So I think they finally got the second healer with them. So that 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 gives them that their original group basically for what was originally planned. So that'll be interesting to see. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, you can see here we we end up two. I think the final score is two fifty. I don't think we get Femto in the last thirty seconds, um, but uh, we might. I don't know. Looking back at the the video, I can see some of the things I did wrong. Um, some of the things I think we did wrong, but uh, we played a pretty good game. I mean, you know, Varn came in, transitioned well with us. We've we've been keeping with them a lot lately too. I've been playing with them a lot lately. I will say, do not sing Claire battles with him. He's dirty. He pulls out everything henchmen whatever it takes but uh i'm gonna leave it at that i'll let y'all sink on that but uh shout out to all of one piece as always uh that's about it so i think the scorecard's gonna pop up here uh, and that's about it so we should only have a few more season matches coming your way and finish it up for y'all so subscribe comment let me know what y'all think